this lecture i'm going to attempt to explain uh, the reason for the Markovnikov's rule which is that the hydrogen atom would be bonded to uh, the carbon atom in the serial bond c which is bonded to more hydrogen atoms so so uh, we're talking about the electrophilic addition reaction that we just studied so i have an unsymmetric alkene and this rule applies only to unsymmetric alkenes because previously as we have seen that for symmetric alkenes this is not much of a problem because it doesn't matter whether hydrogen gets bonded to either carbon atom you get the same product so i have an unsymmetric alkene which is propene in this case so it's an unsymmetric alkene because the arrangement of the atoms around the carbon double bond carbon is different uh, on the right hand side there are two hydrogen atoms on the left hand side there's a there's a carbon chain on the left hand side so let's take an hpr molecule which is which is uh, attempting to bond with it uh, the hpr molecule uh, hydrogen has a slight positive charge so there's an electron rich center uh, and that electron rich center has a slight negative charge because there are lots of electrons over there those electrons would be attracted by that hydrogen which is slightly positive and when those electrons get attracted to that hydrogen the electrons in the bond in hpr they get repelled by those electrons and br becomes negative so in the first step what happens is that this positive hydrogen gets uh, attracted to this carbon double bond carbon and it would try to bond with one of the carbon atoms so it could be either this carbon atom or it would be this carbon atom and it's going to take a pair of electrons uh, from the, uh, one of those carbon uh, from the double bond so let's see how that happens so previously what we have discussed is that there are two possibilities i mean there was a double bond over here that double bond would be attracted slowly by the hydrogen which is trying to so those electrons are going to get attracted to that hydrogen and they would bond together so so the double bond becomes a single bond and since two of the electrons uh, the double bond contained electrons from this carbon atom so this carbon atom gets a plus one charge it becomes a carbocation and let's look at the other situation the other situation is and let's uh, explain that as well so this hydrogen is trying to bond with it let's say that that double bond is all is still there the electrons in the double bond would be attracted and they would be attracted by the hydrogen over here so that hydrogen ends up attracting the electrons in the double bond and all these electrons are then attracted and they end up bonding with that particular hydrogen so the electrons in the double bond the pi electron cloud to be specific they get attracted by the hydrogen and they go and bond with the hydrogen and what that does is that the double bond electrons had electrons from this carbon atom and this carbon atom loses its electrons to this hydrogen because that those electrons over there they ended up bonding with the hydrogen over here so this carbon gets a plus one charge now the difference between the two molecules is that over here hydrogen is bonded to the left hand side carbon atom whereas over here hydrogen is bonding to the carbon atom which is right at the end and i'm calling this the major product because the markovnikov's rule states that the hydrogen atom would choose that carbon atom which is already bonding to more hydrogen atoms so let's look at the original molecule you had this double bond it had two carbon atoms this carbon atom over here was bonding to more hydrogen atoms so the possibility or the probability of hydrogen bonding to this particular carbon atom would be higher so you're going to get this molecule in the first stage of electrophilic addition uh, the chances of hydrogen bonding to this second carbon atom would be lower so the probability of getting this particular carbocation in the reaction mechanism would be lower so this is your minor product this one is your minor product and this one is your major product now i'm going to try and attempt why this particular uh, carbocation is more stable so the probability of forming this carbocation is greater and the reason for that is that this particular carbocation is considered to be more stable and what stability means is that it's less likely to change and uh, this one over here this carbocation over here is less stable so the probability of forming this particular carbocation would be 
lower end what's the reason what's what does what does stability mean in particular stability means that, that there's a lesser tendency for something to change so let's analyze the first uh uh, the first carbocation if you look at this carbocation this carbocation has a positive charge but if you if you observe carefully what the environment around this particular carbon atom is that it has a carbon chain on one side and it has a carbon chain on the other side so directly next to this carbon atom there are two carbon atoms bonded to it and carbon has six electrons what that means is that those six electrons because this carb carbon is going to have a positive one charge the electrons from those uh, carbon atoms will be attracted to this carbon atom because this carbon atom has a plus one charge and that plus one charge would be attracting electrons and look at hydrogen over here there's one hydrogen next to it as well and this hydrogen has uh, just one electron so so the thing with this carbon atom is with this particular carbocation is that you have lots of electrons two carbons next to it each one having six electrons this carbon atom over here also has six electrons and this hydrogen atom over here has one electron all of them all of the electrons would be attracted by that particular carbon atom and the positive charge on this carbon atom would decrease it would be it would be lesser so the positive charge on this carbon atom would be lesser now compare this with the other carbocation which I said was less stable or unstable now you're going to notice that the that the plus one charge is on the other carbon atom and this carbon atom is bonded to two hydrogen atoms and these hydrogen atoms they just have one electron so so even if carbon tries this plus one charge on carbon tries to attract electrons from the hydrogen atoms hydrogen has not much to offer it only has one electron on one side there is a carbon chain and carbon has six electrons so that would help but still there are two hydrogen atoms and there's only one carbon chain whereas whereas if you look at this particular carbocation it has two carbon atoms on two sides what that does is that the plus one charge on this carbon atom is lesser and the plus one charge on this particular carbon atom would be greater I'm going to discuss why uh, being less stable and what is meant by the term less stable now we've discussed that this carbon atom has a greater positive charge and since it has a greater positive charge because the reason why it had a greater positive charge was because it's bonded to two hydrogen atoms and hydrogens don't have a lot of electrons to offer uh, in st if in this particular case you had carbon which was bonded to two carbon atoms instead on both sides and carbons have a lot more electrons to offer so that would decrease the plus one charge on this particular carbon atom but the carbon the plus one charge on this particular carbon atom is going to be a, uh, a lot larger compared to the other one so why is this unstable what this positive charge is going to do is it's going to attract electrons very very strongly so in the first step of electrophilic addition you had this hydrogen over here which was bonding to carbon atom because it took electrons from the double bond but since this carbon has a very strong positive charge what it would do is it's going to pull those electrons back again and when it does that uh, this bond is the electrons in this particular bond are going to go and they're going to bond and reform the double bond so that's the reason why having a very large positive charge uh, it's it's what it would do is that it's going to this positive charge is going to vanish from here because the electrons from the from the which were over here between the carbon and hydrogen uh, bond those electrons got attracted by the carbon back again and the alkene gets reformed so the reaction is not going to go anywhere so it's very hard to do electrophilic addition reaction if this hydrogen atom is bonding to is trying to bond with the carbon atom that is bonded to lesser hydrogen atoms whereas on the other hand over here this carbon atom over here has a lesser positive charge so if this hydrogen atom takes electrons away from it the attraction the probability of this carbon attracting those electrons back again is going to be very low because this carbon atom positive charge is lesser so this carbocation is more stable um, if hydrogen goes and bonds with one of the carbon atoms then there's very less probability of that bond being broken back again so so the probability of uh, 
forming this carbocation is more the uh, it's going to be a stable carbocation and that would allow time for the other part of the molecule br minus 1 in the meanwhile with its two electrons is going to be attracted to that positive charge it's going to go and bond with that so this is the reason why this particular carbocation has a higher probability of uh, proceeding with the reaction whereas this particular carbocation there's a lower probability because the reaction might go back uh, the alkene would probably get reformed back again so how would you describe uh, uh, this carbocation being more stable if you're asked this question in your examination what you're going to write is that alkyl chains have because they have more electrons have an electron electron releasing inductive effect inductive effect what that means is is the same that I just explained that since having more carbon if this carbocation this carbon positive has more carbon chains around it those carbons have more electrons and those electrons are going to be attracted to this particular carbon atom and it's going to decrease the positive charge on this carbon atom so so alkyl chains have an electron releasing inductive effect so if you have more alkyl chains so if you have more alkyl chains more alkyl chains will reduce the charge density on the carbocation making it more stable on carbocation making it more stable So this is the wording that you're going to use when you're going to describe this entire process, uh, the Markovnikov's rule and why uh, hydrogen would prefer uh, a carbon atom in the double bond which is bonded to more hydrogen atoms.